Hello. I'm going to make this in one take, I promise. And I'm going to try and keep it below four minutes. Right. I'm eating pizza, and I'm talking about things that make me emotional. Because that's what I talk about every week. Part one. Becca's question. Who do I ship in Once Upon a Time? Uh, I don't know. I'm two episodes behind because I had to go away last week and everything. Sorry about that, by the way, people who weren't aware. But I was away. And stuff. <laughs> Who do I ship on Once Upon a Time? I don't know. I want to ship Emma and Hook just because they're both really attractive. That's that's the only reason I want to ship them. And like they have the whole lost children thing going on because obviously Hook ended up in Neverland because he was a lost boy, right? That's always implied, I thought. And like the characters are sort of similar in that they really try not to give a shit about anything. Did I just do the first swear in our videos? I'm sorry. Um, they really try not to care about anything, but they, they secretly have all these emotions that they just don't show. Um, so that might be a good ship to ship. Uh, apparently Emma's, Henry's dad, is a good character. Uh, I, I know Becca had a lot of emotions about that episode. Um, <laughs> so I'll see, I'll see what I think about that when I've seen it. I kind of want to ship her and the Hatter, just because Sebastian Stan. <laughs> that was a really creepy noise but he's a really creepy character to be fair so that's only fair what else who else can I ship her with I kind of I kind of went through a phase of shipping Emma and Mary Margaret not like Snow and Baby but like just they're just together on screen a lot and yeah I can't really even claim ignorance because I always knew that Emma was her daughter. I mean, I don't seriously ship them. I just sort of maybe did for a couple of episodes. Anyway, moving on. I ship Emma and Ruby, but Snow and Red. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. It makes sense in my head. A lot of people ship Emma with... A lot of people ship Emma with Regina. I don't. I... I can't get over the fact of how bad Regina has been to Henry. I mean, I know she has an amazing story, but like, eh, no. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't get over the Henry thing and the everything that she did wrong thing. Same with Rumple. I mean, come on. Good for Belle for leaving him. She should just live in her library and leave the idiot that he is. Moving on, because I'm already nearly at two minutes, and I was going to... I'm nearly at three minutes. I was going to talk about Les Mis. Because, oh my god, the trailer. Right, I filmed a reaction video, so I'll just link that, because it kind of gives my emotions the, their full, expansive breadth. Today was going to be my day where I finally talk about One Direction, but I don't think I have time now. Yeah. One Direction is a is a situation. I'm not proud of myself, but I'm also not ashamed because there's nothing wrong with liking popular music. Thank you, internet. The Beatles were popular. That's the whole point of them. I'm not comparing One Direction to the Beatles, by the way. Even I know that's silly. I'm trying to think of anything else to say. Basically, I'll see you next week. And Laura, for tomorrow, talk about the late Miss trailer. That is your question. Goodbye.